Well, you think the northern tier is having a rough time with all the bitterly cold temperatures that have just plunged down to the south. How about the southeast? That's where we start tonight. Take a look uh, through tomorrow and actually through the middle of the week. Kind of that wintry mix. You get a little rain, combine it with some snow, uh, combine it with colder air. You get that snow and really quite a mess down throughout the southeast. And that Arctic air continues to plunge down to the south. For us, high pressure still in place. Next few days as well. That keeps any sort of wet weather and any storms out of the way. But it won't last. Oh, unfortunately, I know it won't last. East Coast still getting that wintry blast. The West, a couple of storms come on through. That's fine. They stay to the north. But then high pressure starts to break down. It's going to make a difference in our temperatures for weeks. And yeah, as quickly as that, believe it or not, as that jet stream starts to lower quite a bit, it'll allow more storms to get very close by. We're not talking any rain, but we are talking about a cooler pattern coming up. Oh. Well, it couldn't last forever, I guess, right? 70s through the pass tomorrow, uh, 60s in the upper deserts for the most part. Cross our valley and out to the Salton Sea, we're talking more 80s. Now, we've got a couple of days of the 80s. That's okay. We'll take them. Be happy for what you have rather than what you don't have, right? Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? <laughs> but the next seven days, look at the drop in temperature. 60s, believe it or not, for a couple of days worth, but enough to make you realize, okay, it is still winter. Not always going to be January, right? We're almost coming to an end of January, but still winter time, that's for sure. Overnight lows in the 50s for eastern ends of the valley. They'll be in the 40s and soon to be in the 30s through Thermal and La Quinta and areas out toward the east. All right, Gino, Elizabeth.